and then he was gone. Oh, <laughs> Listen, uh, Michael Sheen, you've had the most incredible uh, time, and I'm sure a lot of people know what you have been up to, but if they don't, just explain the concept behind your new film, The Gospel of Us. Right, well, uh, it, the film is called The Gospel of Us, and uh, it is a film version of something that I did last year in my hometown of Port Talbot over the uh, Easter weekend. So we did a one-off, continuous, 72-hour live performance uh, called The Passion of Port Talbot. Uh, and it took place all over the streets and down at the beach and on the mountain and in people's houses and in the alleyways and in the working men's clubs and everywhere over three days. It involved about 2,000 local people um, and it began at dawn on Good Friday morning on the beach with about 200 people gathered to sort of witness something uh, that wasn't really advertised, it just sort of happened. And by the Sunday night, there were 15,000 people standing around a roundabout watching me get crucified uh, down in front of the beach. And so this film is not a documentary. There were documentaries made, but this film is an actual sort of feature film based on what happened that a uh, director called Dave McKean has made. And were you kind of worried about making it a film? Because, because it was such a special... Yeah. Thing. Well, it was, yeah, it was, it was such a particular thing. It was, it was live, it was, yeah. you know... Uh, it was 72 hours long. Yeah, and, and we had no idea how many people were going to turn up. You know, I mean, you, you, I worked on it for about two and a half years before we did it. Um, and, you know, you try and work out as much as you possibly can, but ultimately you have no idea who yeah. you're going to be doing it for, how many people are going to be there. And uh, so it, it was such a particular live thing. So the film of it... How Dave managed to make this film, I have no idea. Because also, I, I said, you can't have cameras here, you can't have cameras there. Because I wanted to defend, you know, and protect the live experience for the audience. Yeah. So I said, you can't have cameras here. So he hid cameras in bushes and in people's houses and on tops of trees. And, uh, and there's, there was even a tiny little camera on the top of the cross. So there's this extraordinary shot as the cross comes up where the camera is on the cross and you see what I saw as I came up. Oh. And it reminded me of that joke, you know, where they say, uh, when the, Jesus calls one of the disciples over and says, I can see my house from here. <laughs> I actually could see my house from here. <laughs> <laughs> I could see my house from here. But yeah, it's, it's an, and Dave has done the most extraordinary thing with this film. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Whether, you know, for people who were there, it's amazing. But for people who weren't there, it, there are images that you could never see. In a, you know, 15,000 people walking through a small town, and it's incredible. Because you directed the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, the, the live event. Mm. Mm. But that sounds like kind of like a trained person should, you know, like, how do you prepare Someone for... who knows what well, they're doing. Well, you know doing, what I mean, because that's like <laughs> health control. That's yeah. just like... That's... Well, and that's the other thing, that, you know, there was a point at which where I got arrested in the scene, and we were out, in, outside the car park of the uh, Seaside Social Club, which is where we had our version of The Last Supper, and the Manic Street Peaches played, you know, in front of 200 people on the stage of the working men's club locally, and Paul Potts sang, and all this kind of stuff. And then we came outside, and I got arrested by the local police, who were all local community performers, you know. And the audience, because we, we could only get 200 people inside the place, thousands were outside in the car park watching what was happening on a big screen with a bar out in the car park. So a lot of fairly drunk people by the time I came out. And I got arrested and put on the back of a flatbed truck and sort of got put on trial. And the crowd were going crazy. And, like, people said afterwards, if you'd said, let's trash this place, there would have been a riot, you know? Mm. And so the, the, the boundaries between fiction and reality all got completely blurred, and, and it, it got quite hairy at times. Hey, well, listen, mm. we've got a clip, uh, it, I, and it's sort of that, what you were just oh, talking about. Oh, is it that moment? It's sort, right, of, okay. it's sort of what you were talking about. Okay. But you'll see how it's been kind of transformed into something else yeah. by, by the film. Mm. Uh, here it is. Answer me! Don't you pick it up, son? I don't want to talk to you! Say it! You are the king of this town! Say it! I don't know the man! Are you ready, sir? Are you ready for your journey? You're not one of his followers, aren't you? Are you? Are you, sir? I am not! I am! Take him!
if you want to see the movie, it's on limited release from tonight. Very good. Uh, congratulations, Lola. What an amazing, amazing thing to have done. Thank you. Just incredible. Mm. Uh, right, it's time to meet uh, one of the brightest comedy stars in the country, making a welcome return to BBC One with his new show. Please welcome...